WeWorking Women live stream. I'm Vera Tsui, the CMO of WeWorking Women, with the mission of inspiring personal, professional, and business growth through unity and community. WeWorking Women connects subscribers and partners around the world with the model We achieve, we empower, we impact. First launched as a WeChat blog in October 2015, We Working Woman has rapidly evolved into a vibrant media platform and digital community of readers, contributors, and corporate partners. We connect online through contents and conversations, as well as offline throughout events, professional development workshops, and speaker events like tonight. <laughs> Nowadays, We Working Woman has been ranked as North America's leading digital company that connects and showcases global Chinese women's capabilities and influences. Tonight in our live stream, we are thrilled to have Sonia Zabadani. Uh, uh, did I sound it right? Is Zara that right? Batani. Zara Batani. Is it? Exactly. Zara Batani. Zarbatani. Hi, Sonia. Say hi to our audience. I'm so happy to be here. I have to tell you, you are the only person on the planet that would ever get me to be working on a Saturday night. Oh. So you have to apologize if ever you see some kids running around in the background. Uh, I'm working from home and I'm, I'm so happy to be here. I know. So Sonia, first, um, please allow me to introduce you to our Chinese audience. So Sonia, known to fans and friends as Coach Sonia, is an international speaker, life coach, business coach, and cooperate consultant based out of Montreal, Canada. She lives her life to impact from her Coach Sonia events, retreats, and online programs to her Le Tribe events space and media agency, Le Tribe Media. Sonia coaches and speaks on global stages to empower, inspire, and impact others to live in the now and dream of a brighter future in their personal and professional lives. An entrepreneur and business owner herself, she has built and scaled several businesses to well over seven figures and every day coaches her clients to achieve results they only began to imagine. So tonight, we're very excited to have Coach Sonia here. Although it's a Saturday, it's a beautiful day today. I just like warned my kids to keep down because <laughs> mommy is on a live stream. <laughs> So tonight we're going to talk to Sonia about her personal and professional journey and building her brand and career focused on social impact and empowering women around the world. So Coach Sonia, we launched your article, your interview article actually um, on Thursday. A lot of, uh, we already have almost 3000 readers reading your stories and they were all like expecting your um, live stream tonight and they saw your story. So we collected actually some questions from our readers. The very first question, when we all see your, your like very professional and fashion photos, and we now know that uh, in 2010, you left a lucrative career in the fashion industry to follow your passion, helping others find true purpose and meaning. Um, so what inspired you to make this decision? So this is such a good question because let me ask you, so for everyone watching right now, have you ever felt like you had a great job or you had a great career or a great business and everyone tells you, oh my God, it's a great job. Oh my God, you're so lucky. Oh my God, that's so wonderful. But inside of you, like in your heart, have you ever felt like you're like, that's not really what I'm supposed to do. I want to do something else. I, you, you don't know yet what it is, but you know that there's more for you there. So for me, while my fashion career was incredible and I was on top of the fashion game in Canada and then in the US, I, I wanted, I, I, I felt like my mission and my passion was always to be a speaker, always to inspire other people to live their best life and always to be an inspiration for young girls, for our girls, for women that are working and trying to manage a business and a family and kids. And I knew that that's really was my gift. So 
Was it hard to do the transition? Yes. Do I coach on this every single day? Yes. Um, but I'm here to tell you that if you are watching this and you feel like maybe there's more out there for you, I really want you to take the time today and really look within and say, hey, maybe it's time for me to look at loving and being passionate about what I do. I, I love this. Uh, I follow, I've been following for almost um, three years. Um, I've been following you on uh, Instagram. I loved every single video of you. Um, the, the, it's the energy um, you, you know, like throughout your video, I can feel your passion. Yeah. Uh, whether it's about your life, about your career, about your coaching, whatever it is, I, I just feel your passion of living, you know, as a yeah. mom or as a leader. So um, you are the founder of and CEO of La Tribe Media. Many of our audience are not very familiar with your work. Could you tell us a little bit about um, La Tribe Media? Yeah, absolutely. So basically what I do is the world of Coach Sonia. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I put my at Sonia Zarbitani right now, uh, right there. Please make sure to follow me because I'm going to tell you why. The reason why you should follow me is because I give it to you the way that it is. There are some days where it's glamorous and it's fun. And I just got back of a huge speech in Toronto and I, you know, it's really great. And, but there's other days where you're going to see me with kids in one hand and trying to do my best. And it's just, I wanted to create a platform on my social media where I could just be myself. I could just authentically be myself. Will everybody love it? No. Will everybody re re relate to it? No. But you're, it's going to make you smile. You're going to say, holy shit, how does she have so much energy? It's going to make you wake up in the morning and probably start to work out. And it's going to make you realize that, you know, it's going to be okay. So the, the platform is Coach Sonia. I do coaching on, I do coaching on four categories, mindset, and it always starts with your head. Always. You want to make more money? Your head. You want to have a better relationship? Your head. A better body? Your head. So there's always mindset. Then I coach on relationships, especially during COVID. Relationships have gotten hit very, very, very hard True. because it's a, new it's a new reality. People have been locked down. People are not used to being with someone 24 hours a day. So relationships has been a big, big thing. I coach on body how to be in your peak performance, in your peak health. Like, why not be at your best? And then I coach on, on business. So on business, what I have, and the best thing that I have is I have a group coaching that is business where I'm going to show you how to start a business from zero to all the millions that you want every single step of the way. And I'm going to teach you how to build your personal brand. And I know today we're going to talk about a lot about personal branding, but I will take you every step of the way and have group coaching with you every step of the way. So the tribe is my community because everything, you're part of my community. You come to my job, you're coming to my live events. I build communities. Like that's what I do. I show other women that there are some wonderful women out there that will support you, that will be there for you, and that will stand for you because we're missing so much community. And that's what the tribe is about. So it's events. It's an event space in Montreal. It's a community of unbelievable women and men too that have heart and that want more for their life. Absolutely amazing. You know, um, I'm going to Montreal this summer. I know you have to come. <laughs> I'm definitely going to come and visit. I, 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 saw your, I saw your from your renovation to your launching your the studio. I, I'm like, OK, next time I'm going to Montreal, I have to go visit. <laughs> and you have to come to my next live event. Like we sold out of tickets to and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to give your, your audience a really great tip. So mm -hmm. my live event that I did last week. Um, was at my space at La Tribe. I had 220 tickets sold, 42 sponsors, two live performances. I spoke on stage and it was a, an, a, an event that people cannot stop talking to me about. And I want to tell you one thing. It's the power of personal branding and community. I never did a post on it. I did one story and VIP sold out in 20 minutes. And that's because of one thing 
is because if you give your community an experience and you give them value, they will come for you. So you don't have to spend so much money on ads. You don't have to do all these collaborations. You can start really running your own events and having a community that shows up for you. Wow, I, I can't wait um, to start our, um, to dive deeper to our conversation about personal blending tonight. So um, I'd like to discuss a, a phenomenon. It's called the slash generation. In Chinese, it's called xie gang qing nian. So which could also be called like slashers or slash youth. But that means like people who refuse to define themselves were bound by just one personal identity, like a nine to five job. They're influenced by social media, which is all about personal identities and they dig entrepreneurship. And this leads to a long job title such as marketing specialist slash writer slash illustrator slash um, consultant. Um, so these group of people are called slash people, right? So therefore many friends of mine, and especially we have so many influencers and KOLs on our platform on, on We Working Women, and they love to build their own personal brandings so they can have an impact or even have a second income. And we all know that you have such a strong and authentic personal brand. Um, could you share with us your journey of building up your own brand and how it helps you with your business? Absolutely. You know what I also did for you? I, I prepared a handout for your, for your team, for your whole community, because I really want them to learn and to implement this. Like, I love that we're, we're talking about my story, but I want to give your audience so much value. Okay. And I prepared them specific questions that they can go through to build their personal brand. Okay. So I'll, do you want me to share my screen and I could yes, show you? Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Wonderful. So, because this is so important in your branding and I prepared you guys a, hot, a handout for that too. Okay. So if we go to this wonderful question, okay. The first thing that you have to tell yourself is like, why are you on social media? Like, what's the point? Why are you doing this? So when you speak to the slashers of, you know, the world where it's like, I do this and this and this and this. Okay, hold on here. Why are you on social media? Why are you building your personal brand? Okay, then you're going to go into and you have to write this down. This is like the best homework you will ever have. Who is your target audience? Who are you actually talking to? Right. Because if your job title is, you know, writer, illustrator, consultant, there's all these about who are you talking to? Because your content and your brand is going to be so dissolved because you don't even know who your audience is. So you have to be clear on who your audience is. Then what is your X factor? What's your superpower? Like, why you? Why are people going to follow you? What will you give them? Okay. And then we'll talk about this a little later, but I've created like a really great, just, just for you guys. Right. So when I come back to the slashers and the, the, the problem is it's almost like, you know, we, we say in, in, in Canada, we say, you know, you're masters of none because if you're this and this and that, but what do you really do? So what I want you to do is to really focus in and we're going to create four content pillars for them. For your brand. Okay. So, so that your audience, you have to understand when your audience follows you on social media, they have to understand your platform. They have to get, Oh, okay. I get it. I get why I'm following there. I get why I'm following all of you, all of you, right? If it's too messy, it's going to be too messy for you. It's going to be too messy for the audience. So get clear, clear. Why am I on social media? And for the influencers, Right. When you're when you're saying or, or KOL, cool. But what do you want to convert your platform to? For example, I do tons of sponsorships, tons. But my brand is so completely focused that I know the type of brands that I will align with. So you have to do this work and get a strategy before you start posting, 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 posting. Get a strategy of your account. That's the most important thing. Wow, I love this. Um, so when we talk about like strategies to focus, especially it's really hard for this last generations, right? Because we, we try to focus on so many different things and, and our job, our hobby, our roles in a family or life, right? Um, 
so how how can we find the like the sparkles the most like like a passionate thing we want to focus on social media what would you do if you didn't have to make any money doing it <laughs> like i know that to me is speaking and coaching i don't even know how much like i get obviously paid for what i do but I love it so much. Like I'm so excited to speak to you guys tonight that my, oh, my whole family's taken care of right now. And I never do that on Saturdays, uh -huh. but I love this so much. So speaking is going to be a core pillar of my brand. Mm -hmm. And guess what's going to happen? People will feel my energy because all of you tonight, if you're watching this, make sure to take a story, make sure to tag me in the story, make sure to tag, you know, we working women in the story and share that because that is how you grow your community. Because guess what's going to happen? I'm going to see it because after this, I'll go onto my phone and I'm going to go into the mentions. I won't see the 5,000, you know, the 500 DMs, but I'm going to see the mentions and I'm going to see your comments. And then guess what's going to happen? we start to build a relationship, right? That's how you build authentic relationships on social media. You have to realize that that is the most important thing that you can do, building community, building authentic relationships. So for example, if, if for you, what you love to do is you have a job, cool, but you love to write or you want to write your book. Well, I want that the book writing becomes a really important pillar of your content, right? And maybe you're an illustrator, but you don't really love it and you don't want to have more business doing it. So that doesn't have to be a core pillar of your brand. So when you look at the four content pillars and you have that in your handout and I'll, and I'll give you that handout. Actually, it's very easy. I, I set it all up for you guys. Just DM me, DM me on Instagram the word tribe, T-R-I-B-E, and you're going to get the copy of the handout, okay? So that you can go step by step and really understand your audience and what type of content you should be posting. It's very important. Nice. So when, when um, well, it's great to see that we have so many like influencers and KOLs popping up on our platform. It's still, I, I personally get, um, this question a lot, especially yeah. we have our, um, we have two clubs. Uh, it's a paid membership clubs, right? Yeah. One is called Miss CEO club. One, uh, we, which we focus on women entrepreneurs. And one is called milestone club, which we focus on young professionals. And um, uh, all too often we talk to them about how important it is to build up your personal branding. And a lot of business owners, they don't want to, build their personal branding because they want to hide behind yes. their brand, their business. They said, oh, okay, I want my business to shine, my business to stand in front of me. I don't want me to be the, 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 the queen of the brand. Yes. Or for some young professionals, they will say, well, you know, I'm just doing my job. Like, why is it important to build my personal branding within like in, inside of a professional environment, right? So they don't, they do not understand. Could you please like, elaborate a little bit on this yes. point why it's important to, to build your personal branding no matter it's business related or career related I love this question I get this question every single day I I do you know thousands and thousands of like speeches and everything and my and my entire course is on this I'm going to tell you what one is no you don't have to if you have a coffee shop if you have a retail store if you sell candles if you sell this shirt if you, if you sell products or you have an actual business, you do not need a personal brand, okay? You need a business brand. But even the business brand, I have to build a strategy for it to act like a personal brand. I'm going to tell you why. Because people follow people, they don't follow products. I don't care what this, you know, coffee thing does or this phone does or my shirt does. So what do I have to do? I have to build a strategy for my coffee shop. You know, I have to build the strategy for my restaurant so that not every single picture is going to be picture of the food, picture of the food, picture of the food, picture of the food. No, I'm going to have to create community even if I have a coffee shop, especially if I have a coffee shop. So how are you going to do that? I'm still going to build your personal 
I'm going to build your business brand, but in a way that the coffee shop, I'm going to do reels with like this epic foam and the, the making of the coffee. Then I'm going to do another reel, which is going to be the people coming in so that you will know, hey, I belong. I belong in this coffee shop. I feel like it. I look like it. I'm into it. That's how it's really going to bring it and tie it together. So if you do have a, a, a business that is product driven, I need to build your business brand, not your personal brand. However, on the other side, if you are a coach, uh, have services, a personal trainer, an entrepreneur, a consultant, anything that, that sells services, yes, absolutely, I have to build your personal brand. Let me tell you why. And I understand that a lot of people go, Sonia, I, I do a lot of stories. You guys are going to see. But I do a lot of stories because that is my color. I'm a speaker. I can keep talking till 4 a.m. in the morning on this, on this topic. That's what I do for a living. So for me to turn my phone on and go, hi, everyone, blah, 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 that's easy. That doesn't mean you have to do it. A lot of people come to me and I coach with them or in their, they're in my group coaching and they're like, yeah, but Sonia, I can't. I can't do it all the time. There's no rules. Well, here's why I'm telling you that you should build your personal brand. One, it's free. It's completely free. All you have to invest in is a strategy. And if you don't have a strategy for your personal brand, please, 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 I will help you because it's the most important thing. If not, you're wasting your time, okay? Number two is you have to understand exactly what to do. And I'll show you also in the handout exactly how to make your, let's say if we take, for example, Instagram, how to turn your Instagram into a full business. I can make, I make my clients make, 5, 10, 30K a month just on using Instagram alone, period. I don't even need you to have a website. I don't even need you. So why would you not? Why would you not build community? Why would you not build a personal brand where you're going to get people that are your audience, that are who your ideal clients are? True. True. I, I love this. I love this um, answer. I all too often I talk to my um, our members about personal branding um, and try to tell them that how important it, um, personal branding it is. And um, when we all know that personal branding, it entails um, building your own public image yes. by harmonizing who you actually are, right? Because we don't want to pretend for someone that we're not, and it's going to be very tiring. <laughs> and one day it's going to crash. <laughs> so how, how, and also um, how others see you. So how do we really build an authentic personal branding? And we know it's, it's hard to show yourself, especially in public, right? Even for us, it, it takes, okay. I believe it takes a while for us to get used to speak in public. Yes. Yeah. And it's funny because I, I coach like so many mm -hmm. um, and I find with my, my Chinese women, you, it is, it is more challenging for you because of the culture, because yeah. you guys come from a culture where it's a group culture. Okay. Whereas in, in America, in the U S especially in the U S and then a little bit less, but in Canada as well, the U S is all about me. It's me. Look at me, guys. Look at me. Me, me, me. Up, 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 up. Me. Right? I, 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 I spoke in Miami two weeks ago at a huge event. And even the speakers were like, you have to do this. And you, you actually don't have to do anything. <laughs> like, don't stress yourself, please. All I'm telling you is that the following. You can build a personal brand that is authentically you. You don't have to be you know, tons of energy, Sonia, you can be quiet and reserved and kind and empathetic and show what you want to show. And we will take you one step at a time. And that's why you need the right coach. You need the right audience. You need to do this the right way so that you feel comfortable, so that you take it the first step. And after that, you, you're like, oh, wow. At first, it's going to be hard because you're just building your audience and you're building yourself and you're building like, well, what is authentically me, right? And then this is where the coaching comes in is like, well, then the trigger comes in of like, why would people like me? What do they like? You know, because we're not used to that, right? 
So now it's about understanding what is your X factor? Why would people follow you? Why you are so in- incredible at what it is that you do? And then we go step by step. We find your target audience. We find the content pillars. We find your X factor. And then we start to plan a strategy for your personal brand that's going to be completely you. And you won't feel like a Kardashian or a whatever else that you're like, I don't want to be that. But you don't have to be that. Hmm. I, I, I love this. Can you give us some like uh, more examples on that? Like, um, because for, in, for influencers we see on social media, uh, the ones we often see that gets a lot of attention is actually the ones that's like always like bold and, you know, like they, they have a very like big personalities and stuff. It is a very challenging for the Chinese community, to be honest, right? For us, it's always like, oh, I'm not sure if I can do that. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm not that kind of person. Um, so how, like, have you built like very similar brandings, like people um, who can you can give us some examples yes I'm gonna you you guys are so wonderful because it's so funny because it's a comment that I get so often from the Chinese community where you exact I've heard this so many times and I'm and I and I, and I look at you guys and I want to give you a hug because I'm like okay but do you know how many Chinese people there are <laughs> what do you mean I mean you don't Do you know how many people there are that all think like you? So don't get out and start acting like an American or like a, you know, blah, blah, blah. If that's not who you are, Mm -hmm. if inside of you, we'll go back to question number one. If inside of you, you feel like, hey, I wish I was louder. Hey, I wish I I had tons of energy. Then, then go out and be loud and find a community of people that are loud and that will love loud and will love you. And you'll find that community. But if you're on the other side and you say, Sonia, I'm not that. I don't wanna be loud. I don't wanna, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a community that will love the education, the tips, everything that you have to bring and you don't have to scream it because I'm gonna tell you something. There is nothing more powerful than whispering. People who have to scream, they're trying to get a point across and force it because they're not really aligned with it. But if you're really aligned with a point, you don't have to shout it. You can actually just whisper it. So if you're a, 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 you know, a Chinese person who feels like I see all these U.S. influencers, Canadian influence, these big influencers, and they're like, wah, 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 and their skirts are up to here and the tops are up to here and the, you know, and you're like, do I have to run around in a bikini screaming and making a whole show? No, you don't. And guess what? There's much, there are many, many more Chinese people out there than they are Americans. So if you can crush your own market, you're going to do phenomenal. Wow. I, I love this whispering. <laughs> Whisper. Wow. So, well, one of the things that frustrates us um, is that when influencers or like KOLs, they strive too hard to build a personal brand or become an influencer. Um, But, you know, like followers, they do not equal financial stabilities. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. again. Followers do not equal financial stabilities. (laughs) Yes. So how do we turn our followers and influence into profit? That's the most question. <laughs> so much. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. Okay. First of all, when you guys, I'm gonna show you the 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 handout I made for you. Okay, because you're gonna be like Sonia. I loved you before, but I love you even more now. Okay. So let me show you what I did. Okay. Um, okay. Look at this. So this is the hound that that you guys are literally going to get. Okay. So all you have to do, you go to my Instagram. This is my Instagram. You send me a DM and you say try. Okay. And you get this link to this, to the handout. And you can also get a free personal branding audit. Okay. To where we'll show you my course and all that. But look at this. Okay. This is where I'm going to rock your world. I'm going to talk to you about the different stages of the brand life cycle. Like you're going to know here, are you in brand awareness? Like brand awareness is, I just want to get people to know me. Then brand consideration is, I want them to, now they know me, they follow me. How do I build the brand? 
brand. Like if you're not doing these steps, you're not building your brand correctly. If you go from brand awareness, nobody knows, into brand conversion of like, buy my course, buy my stuff, buy my, no, you have to go through the stages, okay? Mm. But this is what I want to show you, okay? This is going to rock your world. This is something literally I thought, I, I, I spoke about that for two hours yesterday at my event. But if, and this is a gift because I know we don't have so much time together, but this, I can build you a complete business using Instagram alone, period. Like I can show you that using a clear, simple profile picture. And here, these are also searchable keywords for your ideal clients to, to find you. So people can, for example, find me Sonia Zarbatani, or they can go coach Sonia and they're going to find me. But I'm, my brand's pretty solid. But if, for example, your name is, is uh, whatever, Vera, and you're going to say uh, consultant or whatever, you're going to put it over here so that if they're looking for consultants, they'll be able to find you here. Then this is where you're going to go. You're going to explain what you do and how you can help people. Okay. What, it's not just about you. Like your social media, nobody really cares about you. Just get over yourself. They care about what <laughs> they care about what you can do for them. What can you do for them? Okay. Now, and then here, you're going to go into your call to action right here. Like I'll show you, I, I think this is a bit flu. You'll get it properly, but here, see this, these highlights are all funnels. Okay. That means like here, my free webinar, they'll watch this and then they'll go into a different funnel, but this is how you're going to build an actual brand. So you have to know where to convert using Instagram. Is it on posts? Is it IGTV? Is it reels? It's actually on your stories. Why? Because your stories are where your super fans are. Your stories are where, you know, here, see, like my, my thing rolls. This is where everyone's going to click and say, what's Sonia up to today? You know, and then you'll go into the feed and you'll see obviously a lot more. But what I want you to, to see, to really realize is when you're building your personal brand, it is not about the number of followers. It's about when you say, hey, guys, I'm having a free call or I'm having a live event or I'm having blah, blah, blah. Will they show up? Okay, that's what that's why we build this properly. And then we really, I'm going to undo this so that I can sh so I could speak to you. Mm -hmm. Then we really build a strategy to create community. Because once you create community and real authentic followers, I'm not talking about fake versus bot. Like this isn't what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that know that you're the real deal. And they know that when you say, like you and I, when I'm going to come to China, which I will, I promise you, I'm so into it. I cannot wait. But when I'm going to activate my community, they're going to show up. When you're going to activate your community, look, they show up. That is the most important thing. Not do I have a million followers, a thousand followers. If you have loyal super fans, they will show up for you. Okay. So um, what was the like very first moment that you, you felt like you transformed your passion into a real business? I remember. Uh, that's, a great, that's a great question. I, I remember actually. So I, this was like, and you were, you might've been following me at that time uh -huh. because your friend who told you to follow me, she was probably at one of my first group coaching. So here's the deal. Um, I was living in LA and I became a life coach and a business coach. And then I started speaking all over. I was one of the youngest coaches. I was making 500 an hour at the age 26. I came back to Montreal and I took over my business and I was in the fashion industry. I had my first child um, and I stayed in the industry. I got a lot of promotions and all that kind of stuff. And then what ended up happening is I, I, I was a certified coach. I was a speaker. I used to make $10,000 a speak at 26 years old in the U.S. So, but coaching wasn't cool in Canada. Like it wasn't now. I feel like everybody's a coach. It wasn't, it was not everybody was a coach and I was used to making 500 US a coaching session. I get to Montreal and these coaches are making $80 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? So, so, so what ended up happening is I was coming back from New York. No, I was leaving to New York. And I said, you know what I want to do? I want to do a group coaching. I want to do a group coaching 
and I want to host it at my house. And I'm going to do a four hour group coaching and it's going to be $500 a person. And they're going to come at my house and I'm going to give them food and it's going to be wonderful. And I have a great home and I'm going to just, I just launched it on my stories. Okay. I just said, guys, uh, whatever. I don't remember the date, but that date, um, I, I, you know, I'm going to make, and I was at the airport. I'm going to do a group coaching. It's going to be wonderful. Blah, 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 blah. Here's the swipe up. And I didn't even have a landing page or nothing fancy at all. I just had my acuity, which is where they book their, their coaching. And I'm like, sign up within seven minutes. It was sold out 12 people at $500 a, a, a per five, I don't remember, whatever that now I'm like, Whoa, okay. Then I have that. I said, on, then I go into the plane and I said, you know what? I'll give you another day. Let's try this again. And this was on stories alone. Let's try this again. Uh -huh. Right. I'm in the plane. I'm taking off. I'm like, okay, I don't remember whatever day, two weeks later, I land in New York and I, my phone was off. I land in New York one hour uh, later, completely sold out. So I was like, wait a second. And that's how I knew, like test your audience, offer them something and see if they react. And, and guys, you don't have to be charging a lot of money. Do it for free. Do a free webinar, hop up on a live, do a, 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 um, a, make yourself a little ebook and give it to, away for free and see if people get the traction and then start charging for things. Like there's a step-by-step -step process, but you have to get into the game. That's the most important. So, um, so by like, we know that personal, like uh, influencers, KOLs are so um, popular nowadays. Like everyone wants to have their brandings. Yeah. Um, how do we differentiate ourselves? You know, if we are like, let's say there yeah. are a lot of Chinese um, real estate agents, right? Yes. I, I, I know a lot of uh, real, uh, like a real estate agent. They have their channels, they do house shows, they do videos and they post on social media and stuff. Like how do, but how do they like pop up from, for their audiences? Uh, <laughs> call me. <laughs> I do so many real estate agents. It's not even normal. Like I do not, not just that, like I build their entire strategy. I, I give them a strategy for their content and we run accounts. So I do a lot of real estate because there, if you are in real estate, please, please, please invest in your personal brand, please. And do, and make sure that your personal brand is at a very high level because you cannot be selling a million dollar homes, 2 million or whatever, $500,000 homes and have an account that is just super messy and has no strategy. And the most important for real estate agents, because I have so many even on my course, which is you, you see what I sent you, what I, what I gave you on the handout, which has all of the highlights. This is so important. That's how you're going to differentiate yourself. Because instead of just having a feed that goes sold, 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 nobody cares. Like zero person cares. You care because you're proud of yourself. Nobody else cares. That's not where we're going to put the new listings. I'm going to, do you want me to show you what I mean? Cause I want your, oh, your, your sweet. audience. <laughs> like I want your audience to understand what I'm talking about. Cause it's so epic. And I do so many real estate agents and you guys all look the same. Like it's <laughs> so like oh, you so have the same uh, family names. Yeah. So look at this. Okay. <laughs> Imagine. So here are the highlights. You see the highlights. Uh, do you see my thing moving or whatever? These highlights okay, are where we're going to actually build your business. So for example, the new listings or buy different region, it's all going to be here. So every time you have new listings, you're going to put them here. However, in the actual feed, like I'll show you here, okay, this is going to be like new listing or just sold or testimonials. This is where you're going to put it. But in the feed that forget my, this is not like I'm an, I'm a speaker, so it's different. But for example, in the feed, you're going to be able to see tips on real estate, when to buy. Oh, the market is crashing. Like become an expert in real estate and give us epic information. One more tip that I want to give real estate agents and honestly, everybody is make sure that one of your content killers is something that has nothing to do with your business. It's just you because people want to follow you. I'll give you an example. So many real estate agents, just because you gave that example and I deal with them every day, but so many real estate agents think that it has to be home, 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 home. No, because maybe right now you and I are not looking for a house. 
So why would I follow you if all you tell me is house, 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 house? There's no reason. Instead, give me another category. Maybe you like to cook. Maybe you like to do fitness. Maybe something to do with you so that even if I don't need to buy or sell a house, I might follow you because you're a fitness or you go on hikes or you have a cool dog or something that makes you you. And I'm going to follow you because of that. And yeah, the posts about your real estate, I'll be like, oh, whatever, whatever. But I'm going to fall in love with you so much that when my friend is going to come over and say, you know what, I'm looking to sell my house. I'm going to go, oh my God, you have to follow this girl. I don't, she's just fucking awesome. And then all of a sudden she's going to say, oh my God, great. So you got a referral that you would have never gotten unless you gave it a personal feel to your account. Mm. I love this because uh, a lot of, of um, our um, like students and of the academy, like for the influencers and KOLs, they always ask, like, for example, if I am a um, real estate agent, uh, like, can I post like on weekends? Can I post my personal yes. life, like vlogs yes. or like going yes. places? Yes. Right. And yes. That explains it yes. really well. Yeah. Please do. Please do, because if not, you just ask me the question, how can I differentiate myself from being you? Maybe you love to travel or like, let's say maybe you said the blog. So maybe on the weekends, what you love to do is go try out different coffee shops. It can be something so basic as that, but you might grow in a huge way because every single Saturday or Sunday, I'm excited to look at what new coffee shop you're going to go discover. Mm, nice. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when we um, talk about like making your brand profitable, um, you mentioned that we should always like um, giving out values and testing your audience and giving some free sessions, building up your community, your tribe, and then started to develop something that you can charge for. Um, I wanted to ask um, like for this process, do we need to plan out everything before we taking actions, or we just started to take actions and just do it and let our audience decide. And maybe later on, you will know, oh, maybe they love this product. They love this service. Maybe I will start to charge on this. So no, which, I don't, which one- I don't, I don't, I don't work like that because here's the pro it's like all these people going, guys, what do you want me to post about? Like, tell me, like, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? Like you create your brand. You create your, but do the work, like literally do the work. Like I'm telling you, send me, you know, take a screenshot of this. So I know who you are, post it up on your stories and then send me a DM and and write tribe because I want to audit your account and you need to build your strategy without a strategy. You're asking audience that you don't even know what you're going to do with your business. That sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. So like in my, the way that I do my courses is always business strategy first. What is your business? Then we develop the offers first. What do you want to do? And and a lot of times, like, I know that you have a, you must have a huge audience that already has a phenomenal business that already does coach, that already does charges. So I'm not saying go on Instagram and start doing stuff for free at all. I'm saying maybe give a free tool, like, like, for example, a questionnaire of something. Or, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe they're doing mortgages of how to calculate your mortgage. Like, I'm not saying don't ever do stuff for free that, that you are getting paid for. And you're, don't do that. Do what you, what you do. However, what I want you to do is start with your business strategy, always the most important. Then we build the business or the personal brand or the business brand based on this strategy. But I need to know, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to sell? What are the different offers that you want to give? And based on these offers, I can build you a complete strategy on your brand. So always have your strategy ready. Number one, if not, like, what are we doing? Because you're going to be messed up because you might get, you might attract the wrong kind of audience. And then you're going to pull your audience and your audience is going to say, no, I want more whatever of, of this. And you're like, well, I was really wanting to do this. And then you start moving away from what you, again, guys, go back authentically want. I want you to be so clear about what you authentically want that all of these other opportunities, because 
when you get into, do you know how many podcasts I get asked to be on every day? It's out of control. Everybody has a podcast. Oh, yeah, like, I know. <laughs> everybody has a podcast. Everybody has an event. Everybody has a day. Like, you have to know where you are, where you stand, and you're going to have to start saying no so many times because everybody wants me on their, their podcast, their events, their this or that. So I have to know what aligns with what I'm doing and where my business brand and impact is going. Exactly. That makes me feel like um, there's a very uh, famous saying by Sun Zi one of the old Chinese, um, the oldest Chinese philosophy. Um, uh, he said, every war is won before it's fought, right? So before you win the war, you already planned out how to win this war. So a strategy is so important. Um, strategy so is number one. I, I love this. So what kinds of programs does um, the tribe offer to support women professionals and um, aspiring leaders? Well, my number one thing, like if for, and I, and I, I really get your audience, which is my number one thing is my group coaching and online course. I'm going to show you really quickly because there is nothing in on literally on the planet that does what this sim does. It's not a Kajabi. It's not a YouTube. It's not a nothing like that. I'm going to show you, and I'm actually going to show you my, the, the course itself. Look at this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, oh, I have to press share. It's always better to press share. Okay, look at this. This is my own system, okay? So this, you go into this system and it's a complete training system. It has badges, it has certifications, it has a complete community. And then every single week, I'll show you this, okay? So the, oops, I'm just gonna push you over here. All right, so this community, like right now I go group coaching. We have a group coaching tomorrow night, every single Sunday night, which is the right timing for you guys here. Hi, dream team. Were you able to hop your partner? Tomorrow's a big call. And um, we're talking all about your content on your feed. So this is like, they'll tell, they'll all go. I'm putting the people together here, but I want to show you the way that I've organized this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's the most important. You know, when I told you that I first want you to have a business strategy. So this is what it does. You go into your training system. So cool. This thing. You go into your training system and you have everything. So it's your business mastery and your personal branding mastery. Okay. Your next call, you have your group calls every Sunday, but then you have pivot your business, which is there's 60 different episodes on how to build your business. I'm going to show you on how to build your business from the vision all the way to the business plan, social media content, how to pitch yourself, how to execute yourself. And all of these go literally, it's not just one, it goes all the way to, here's the different parts of the business plan. And it's completely interactive. Like nobody has this, mm -hmm. right? Then, yeah. so, so once you do, and every single week in the group coaching, we're either coaching on personal branding or your business. And I'm there every single, like you have your full, full thing. Now I'm going to show you what you have in the personal branding mastery. So this is the most important. This is what we're talking about today. Okay. So here you have your personal brand versus your business brand. That was the first question you asked me. So some have personal brands. Other ones have the four pillars. This is your four content pillars, how to be social, how to create community, your social media marketing campaign. This is what I was talking about. Your brand awareness. This is doing more reels, consideration, conversion, how this is get to work, what you actually do to create content, how to pitch your brand, then create your brand identity. I'm going to show you this because it's so cool. So do you guys know how to it's use Canva? To use yes, yes. Like it's literally going to show you how to use Canva, how to you how to create your headlines, how to create your branding colors, your brand deck, like personal branding and really building a brand for your professionally it needs work but it also needs a complete system so this it tells you like for example using the instagram highlights to direct your followers into taking action and then anyways it goes on and on and on but this to me is the number one thing that i can give anybody because this is the best system and you get me on group coaching every single every single sunday and you really get a community and you get support you know Wow. So these are all the courses that are, are online. Yeah, this you literally all you have to do is you text me a DM me the word tribe. 
and I'll get, it gives you the link to watch this and you can book a call with my team and we're actually going to audit your account. And we'll talk about it. You can look at it and everything. And as well, you're going to get the, as my gift, the handout that I've been showing you tonight. Wow. Wonderful. Nice. Nice. Wait. Um, so I heard that you are finalizing your methodology book. Yeah. How to I live your 10 out of 10 life. Um, so when uh, do you plan to launch? I heard that it's going to be soon to be the bestseller of the year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, what's so funny? What's so funny is that so it was supposed to launch. It's finished, but it was supposed to launch uh, th like this spring. But honestly, with everything that happened with COVID, like I really want to go and do live events. Like, so mm. I just I just tabled it like I'm I I might do it for fall I'm I, I I'm I'm thinking fall is going to be the re I just want to go in person like I want to come to China and be like guys here's a book like <laughs> I don't want to do because the way that it was going to be for 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 spring was all going to be Zoom. virtual <laughs> yeah virtual launch <laughs> all virtual launch virtual launch but you know people want to have experiences they want to come to events. They want to meet me in person. They want me to sign books in person. They want, mm -hmm. you know, and that's honestly me too. So I'm, I'm excited for it. It's called how to, how to live your 10 out of 10 life, because mm -hmm. I believe that there's not one way it's your way. So I help you define what a 10 out of 10 life looks like for you in all the categories in your life, in your business, as a mom, as a friend, you know, in your body, in your mindset. And I give you an eight step strategy, how you can go from wanting something to actually executing it. Wow. Um, I just saw uh, we have a live question. Yes. Because uh, you just introduced your um, courses and they ask, um, how much is the course? <laughs> Yeah, of course. Very, very realistic question. <laughs> yeah, they're like, yeah, yeah, Sonia, but tell us. Well, they're different. Well, the good thing is that I have different payment plans. So you could literally pay it into different payments. But the full course, it's a six month program with group coaching with 60 episode. And then I also give as a bonus, um, master your body, master your mindset and master your business too. So all of that is 4997. So $5,000. Okay, so yeah. that includes um, everything. The group, the group coaching is uh, in person? No, on Zoom, oh, every on Sunday Zoom. on Zoom. No, 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 you guys are in China. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So every We're actually everywhere. We have um, 31 chapters globally. That's so we incredible. have uh, North America, uh, different countries. We have New Zealand, Australia, you know, Singapore, wow. or also mainland China, but mostly um, outside of China. That is so incredible. So yes, that way, you know, it's Sunday nights, the calls. So you're able to hop in virtually. You're able to get access from, from me too. Meaning every single week I send out the homework, you do the course the way that you want, but every single week you hop on and I take you through this entire process. So there's that. You can also go on to my to my um, website, coachsonia.com. You can book a coaching, a one-on-one -on -one. Uh, I think I, the next one is probably in July or something like that, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. So, um, I have another question here. Yes. Uh, they really wanted to know that you seems you're so busy, but you are also a mom of five. How yeah. do you actually balance your work and your that's, mom life? Yeah. That's the number one, uh, most asked question period. Um, and it's such a beautiful question and I love it. I, my number one key to any productivity is planning 100%. So what I do, and if you guys, you like you're, you know me, Vera, like every single Sunday when you guys, I hope you all follow me, but every single Sunday, you'll always see that on my stories. I always, I, I, I finish the whole family thing at around six o'clock and I go back to my office and I plan my week. So on Sunday, everything's planned. So my group pro coachings are planned. My coachings are planned. If I have any kind of events, everything is in lockdown. My content schedule is planned. And I'm going to show you how to schedule your content. I'm going to show you how to batch your content too. So every single thing is planned. And then I include 
anything to do with my kids so that I'm like, okay, you know, Monday they have swimming Tuesday, they have whatever, all of these activities. And I make sure that I include my husband in it too, so that we have date night, we have home night and I, and I make it into non-negotiables. What I also make sure that I do. And I really hope that you understand this next point. I work out um, like five times a week for one reason for my head. And I make it into a non-negotiable. You don't have to work out, but you have to move your body and you have to take time for yourself because if you take time for yourself, you can be a better mom. You can be a better friend. You can be a better wife or husband, girlfriend, whatever. But please, please, I hope you look at that and go, am I making time for myself? And if you are, I applaud you. And if you don't, Finish this call and go to your schedule and start blocking out time where you're going to make some time for yourself. I I love this. I'm I'm a mom of three young kids. So my, my, I, I, I do the same. I put everything on my calendar. I love this non-negotiable principle. I think it's um, very important that you, you save spot for your kids, for your spouse, for yourself, just like you save your schedule of meetings. It's, it's this equal. And, and it's non-negotiables so that, you know, like today, and I also, one more tip, um, that's an important one. So I traveled to speak. So I was in, at an event in Toronto. And so today was all kids. I brought my, do- and you guys will see it on the stories, but I brought my daughter to a brunch, um, her and me just one-on-one time. So make sure that work, work. Okay, cool. But then family, family, you know, and I know you're going to be like, wow, I'm so tired. I am tired too. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> so I'm just like, I know I have a lot of energy, but I'm tired too. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I, today I just had a conversation with my friend. I tried to persuade her to start working out. <laughs> she, she is watching your life right now. She said very impressive. So I hope that by after tonight, she's going to schedule herself some me time. And tell her, first of all, to take a screenshot of this so I know who she is. And then tell her tomorrow to send me a DM and go, Sonia, I worked out. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to let her DM, DM you for sure. Amazing. So um, my last question for tonight is what is the one sentence we can take away tonight? <laughs> well, I love that. I think that the, the number one sentence and I think, you know, the common thread of today's talk and just talking to you is the answers within don't go outside. It's not what's this influencer doing or how does this person do it or how, it's not there. It's not asking the audience, asking your friends, ask. No, it's within. Find out what you love to do. Number one, find out what you're, what you would do with, even if you didn't get paid and then put a strategy together so that you can do what it is that you love to do. And you're going to start to manifest into your world, the right community that's going to support you and want more of it. Amazing. Always listen to your own voice. Yes. Yes. I love this. I love this. You know what? We have, I just checked our live stream. We have over 3000 audience tonight watching you. (laughs) I love you guys. I hope this, I hope this was so valuable. Please. Yeah. Take a story. Let me know if it was. And I, Aunt Vera, I am so there to do this again. In, In I, I'm always there to serve your community. Amazing. Everyone is leaving their comments and they said, oh, you're so pretty. This, this is so awesome. I love this. So impressive. And our, um, our uh, little admins, uh, they left your Instagram in the chat box. Uh-huh. So everybody will know your Instagram and they will follow you. Um, and-, and if they want the handout and to know about the course, they just DM me the word tribe, T-R-I-B-E. And yes. it just, yeah. Yes. And they said, thank you for tonight's session. (laughs) Thank you for showing up. And I hope you were inspired and I hope that you take action and I hope that you create your own rules. And I cannot wait to be there every step of the way with you guys. We're so excited to have you tonight, um, Sonia. And I can't wait to have you um, coming to our event in person. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm in. I'm totally in. I, I'm to Toronto. I, I'm easiest <laughs> to convert. Toronto is easy. It's an hour away. And then all over the world. Yes. And we have a divi- division in Montreal as well. We have We're Working Women Montreal division. And uh, maybe we can do some activities together this summer. Absolutely. Not there. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I hope it was wonderful. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching our live stream and stay tuned. Uh, We're going to make this video live um, again on YouTube, LinkedIn, on all social media platforms next week. And um, thank you for all the audience who was leaving so lovely comments and messages. So encouraging. And I'll see you next time. Good night and goodbye for those who are in China. (laughs) 